Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yes, uh, today I would uh, like to show you my Nelly Eilers and talk a little bit about them, uh, how I grow them. Um, because they are so beautiful and I'm uh, here I have the uh, on the left hand side the uh, Swiss Beauty, Nelly Eilers Swiss Beauty and this is the Swiss Beauty but then the orange one. As you can see this has a beautiful hint of orange in the in the uh, sepals and in the lip and uh, the petals as well of course <laughs> as you saw but um they are pretty much the same but only the color is uh, different and it, pe uh, it happens that these uh, two ones did start blooming um, around the same time and they both have two spikes which is uh, very beautiful of course and for me they never had so many blooms as this year and especially this orange one these are a, a bit darker they just opened up because this is a branch as well I have them for the second time as you can see here this is the branch uh, this is the second rebloom for me so I don't have them that long I think by about one and a half year but yeah this one has quite an amount of blooms and um, I didn't count them but anyhow as you can see with the second uh, spike as well they have quite some blooms and um, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm a bit proud of this because uh, I did struggle with them uh, quite a while and you can see the remains of that here uh, these harmonica shaped leaves and we have some older bulbs here that didn't do so well but these guys on the side as you can see well this is already making a new growth but you can see these look way much better they have a little bit of the harmonica shaped leaves still in them so they can do even a little bit better but most of the parts of the leaves are uh, getting way better than uh, than before and as you can see hopefully in this part these leaves are okay this one is good and this one this might be an older bulb but I think this is a fairly new one it's a smaller probably the one from last year this is a smaller bulb but these bulbs are getting bigger again and this one has beautiful leaves here as well so yeah we do we are doing better and uh, I have two directions of growth at least on both of them so yeah I think I will uh, divide them uh, divide them when I do repot because this one is really uh, hanging over and this one this part is pretty loose it was already like this before it uh, did start this spike so it's not because of this spike is too heavy but I don't know why but these bulbs uh, did uh, go uh, lay down almost <laughs> But yeah, they are finally doing uh, great. I give them the same care as my uh, Melthoniopsis. So I will do a link uh, in the top of the screen if you want to know more exactly how, about the, the care that they uh, do get. They get exactly uh, the same care, like I said, as the Melthoniopsis. And I think they do are, are doing uh, fairly well. What I did change, um, yeah, I think about a year ago now, is that they now are... In this uh, no not about a year I'm sorry about six months but they are now growing underneath those lights and they do get a little bit of daylight later in the afternoon I'm sorry for the uh, bright brightness there but it's a little bit uh, of sun still out there and I'm filming it around four o'clock in the afternoon but so they do get a little bit of the, the yeah almost filtered uh, daylight but they do get most of the light from the lamps just LED cool white lamps and they seem to enjoy it they like the light but not too strong but they do grow so incredibly slow I thought the Miltoniopsis was one of the slowest growers of the uh, orchid genera well I nowadays say well if you think your Miltoniopsis is growing fairly slow just put a Nelly Island next to it and uh, it seems to appear that your Miltoniopsis grows suddenly way faster <laughs> of course it doesn't do that but these guys are so slow but I think well worth it especially when you get a 
quite many uh, blooms of them and I do like the blooms very well but I also do like the fragrance the, these are uh, yeah very fragrant uh, quite strong fragrance I know some people don't like them I personally love the fragrance but they can uh, yeah I can fill up a room you can say but I don't think it's too strong but like I said some people uh, think they are uh, too strong I grow them self-watering as you uh, probably already saw and uh, yeah they really need the time like I said they are slow growers but uh, I think well worth it so this was a, a nice uh, update I think on my Nelly Iris and I want to do, do this because these blooms are starting to get over again so uh, I thought this is a nice time I still can do it and I'm backing up a little bit because I have here two Nelly Islas as well these were uh, birthday gifts and I did give them, get them from separate uh, people they didn't know they uh, bought the same orchids for me but did, these guys are the red velvet I'm going to put them up in the same pot uh, I'm just going to take the risk I, they look uh, okay to me this one is making a new growth and I hope this one will do soon uh, as well so I can uh, repot them a bit easier but then I uh, will put them, in a, put them in the same pot I do have a red velvet and uh, it did bloom I did show the blooms somewhere on my video it's this one but this is fairly smaller as you can see but it has a new growth here and one here just above my thumb so it has now two growing uh, directions which is beautiful of course but this one is doing well so I don't want to change anything about this and leave it there and I will uh, take the other ones and if they all uh, both or all three do well probably I will give this one away someday because I like uh, plants with a story and those were gifts so therefore I think I'm going to keep those two but yeah the Nelly Eiler if you have any questions about them um, about the care or anything please let me know if you have any other questions as well please leave them in the comment section below and for now I just wanted to thank you uh, for being here if you didn't already maybe you want to subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate it and of course if you want to give it a thumbs up thank you <laughs> and uh, like I said I hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye